हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट ओवरी कल्चर ओव्यूल कल्चर और मेगास्पोर कल्चर्स सो दीज कल्चर्स आर जनरली परफॉर्म टू ऑब्टेन द फीमेल हेप्लोइड प्लांट्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट इज द ओवरी कल्चर सो ओवरी कल्चर इज अ टेक्निक इन विच ओवरी आइसोलेटेड फ्रॉम पोलिनेटेड और अनपोलिनेटेड फ्लावर एंड कल्चर ऑन द न्यूट्रेन मीडियम here this is the complete procedure of ovary culture so first of all we take the flowering plant because we we want to take the ovaries so we first we take the flowering plant then from the flowering plant the flower buds they are removed and now these separated flower buds these are surface sterilized generally with 70% ethanol and sodium hypochlorite so this step is just to perform in order to you can say remove the unwanted material or you can say just to make the flower buds sterile now these flower buds are again washed with the sterilized water just to remove the any uh, remaining these surface sterilizing agents so after washing with water now these flower buds so these are just you can say split into two halves or just split to open the flower bud so with the help of knife we just cut the flower bud and separate out the ovary from this flower now you can see we have ovary by splitting the flower with the help of knife in the next step this ovary is transferred to another you can say another container and surface sterilized now in the next step this ovary is placed on the nutrient medium which will provide nutrition for the growth of this ovary and you can say which will help for the production of plant from this ovary and generally it incubated at 25 degree centigrade in dark for 16 hours now from this cultured ovary the complete plantlet will be generated just after 2 weeks so here first the shoot will form then root will form and after that the leaf will also be developed so now you can say the complete plantlet will be regenerated from this ovary so this is the complete process of ovary culture now next is the ovule culture so here we just take out the ovule from the ovary and culture them on the nutrient medium like in the ovary culture we just culture the complete ovary but in case of ovule culture we just separate out the ovules or you can say we just take out the ovules from the ovary then culture them and this culture is also known as megaspore culture here this is the pro again complete process of ovule culture so first step is just we take the flowering plant because we will take the ovary so for that we need flowering plants then the flower buds they are separated out and they are surface sterilized to remove the contaminants generally we use 70% ethanol and sodium hypochlorite for the surface sterilization now in the next step these sterile flower buds they are washed with sterile water just in order to remove the any remaining these surface sterilizing agents so just to remove them we wash the flower buds again with sterile water now this flower bud is you can say split with help of the knife and just their petal sepal they are removed in order to get the ovary only so now we have the ovary so here so this is you can say similar as in case of ovary culture but from here in order to perform perform the ovule culture we will first just take this ovary into another container and surface sterilize it after that we will squeeze this ovary with the help of any kind of glass rod just to extract out or just to taken out the ovule from this ovary so just squeezing we are just squeezing this ovary just in order to get the ovules because we are performing here ovule culture once we extracted out the ovules from the ovary now these ovules will be transferred to the suitable nutrient medium which will provide nutrition for the development of these ovules and we generally incubate these ovules at 24 to 26 degree centigrade in the dark period for 3 to 4 weeks under these condition these ovules will be regenerated into 
you can say complete plant so first the shoot will form then root and after that the leaf will be developed so you can say that completely regenerated plant will be developed from this ovule so this is the structure of ovule you can say this is the uh, diagram representing the ovule culture it is almost similar that of ovary culture just difference is that in ovary culture we completely you can say we culture the uh, whole ovary complete ovary but in ovule culture we just extract out ovule and culture the ovule in order to get the regenerated or complete plant now there are certain factors which affect the ovary or ovule culture like first of them is genotype so genotype of the donor plant it predominantly influence the ovary culture and ovule culture second physiological status of the donor plant also affect the ovary and ovule culture like ovules harvested from first lateral branches that is at the base of plant they give higher response from the sixth form lateral branches in a sugar beet next factor affecting the stage of harvest of ovule so the stage at which we just taken out the ovule it also affect the you can say culture ovule culture then seasonal effect so seasonal variations is an also very important factor like for example in sugar beet highest embryo yield was obtained from the summer grown plants callus induction from ovules of zerbera occurred at high higher frequency during autumn as compared to spring next culture media so definitely culture media will also affect the ovary or ovule culture moraceous and skug media miller's baser media they are most commonly used media for ovary and ovule culture the amount of sucrose it also reported to influence the embryo genesis next physical factors so physical factors like light temperature they also influence the ovary and ovule culture like for example in case of beta vulgaris cold treatment you can say the cold pre treatment of flower buds at 4 degree for 4 to 5 days it increase the embryo yield form of from the cultured ovule so there are some physical factor also there which will affect the ovary and ovule culture so this is all about that what is ovary and ovule culture their procedure and the various factor affecting them so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much